Hi, my name is Marco and welcome to this online tutorial offered by Kabiria. The tutorial is about translating with uh, open source tools and uh, I'll show you how to rely on uh, these free tools to accomplish from simple to complex translation processes. And specifically we will use uh, Okapi framework and the Rainbow tool for pre and post processing Omega T as a cut tool and the XBench by AppSec as quality assurance tool. And you can also use OpenOffice and PO Edit for final verification. And the usual disclaimer, the, the information I'm, I'm going to give you is purely for educational purposes. And uh, although we use it, uh, uh, we use these tools uh, daily for our projects we cannot guarantee that you can approach all of your projects with them. So, um, we, we will translate three files, a PO, a get text catalog, frequently used in uh, software localization. Uh, we will translate uh, an Excel in 2007 format and uh, a doc. Uh, both the, the PO and the Excel file can be processed directly by the Okapi filter but uh, we need to convert the, the doc into docx because the, the reason why is that the Okapi filters work better with the Office 2007 filters than with RTF filter. So let's open the Word file and we simply save it, file, save as, and we will save it here as 2007. Okay. Yep. Um, if you don't have this option and, and you're still on uh, Office 2003, then you need the compatibility, compatibility pack uh, that you can download it for free from the um, Microsoft uh, website. And if you have more than one file to convert, maybe you can use the, the Microsoft Office Migration Planning Manager which is a free command line tool that lets you convert Office 2003 to Office 2007 in batch. Okay, we can just close this. And uh, just a word about the, the Excel file. As you can see, the, the customer uh, has asked us to have the Italian translation, in this case, in the second column. And uh, this is quite pretty common and um, we have two ways of uh, dealing with this. We can simply ignore and translate the, the first column and then at the end uh, restore, the, um, restore the English um, using a copy of the, of the source file. Or we can even uh, block the first column, copy, copy and paste uh, the, the content into the second and use a new feature of the Okapi filters. But since this feature is currently in beta, we will stick to the to the old way. So actually, we can just close this file. Okay, then we we open uh, Rainbow and we drag and drop the three files. Okay. Here we go, and um, we save the, the rainbow uh, project file, save as VOSS tutorial, yes, I want to replace it, and uh, okay, now we have the, the three files in the first uh, tab, the input list, and as you can see, the, the filter configuration has been automatically selected by, the, by rainbow, uh, it has recognized that the first first two files are open XML and the third file is a PO. So if you want to mm, make some changes and modify these configurations, you can just double click here, create uh, a new filter configuration, click OK, and then you can modify the param parameters. For instance, what I've told you before about the Excel options, you select the A column and then click OK. And uh, I won't do this because this, uh, this filter, this uh, property is currently in beta, so I don't know if it's working. OK, um, 
So now we we simply have to select where we want to save the process file and uh, as an extension I want them to have underscore IT uh, as a root I want them to to be here I delete the, the trailing slash as a custom subfolder for the final for the final files I will I want them to be into the um, let's say for customer folder so I know that this is the final folder that I have to that I must send to the customer um, and that's it okay we can leave language languages and encodings uh, uh, as they are because uh, they're encoded in ANSI for Windows uh, English and Italian is the target language that's okay okay let's go to utilities translation package creation and you have uh, different options here you can convert those files into xlif generic uh, you can you can translate those xlif with any modern uh, cut tools cut tool and um, or you can save uh, the files in into an rtf uh, format uh, which is uh, compatible with uh, with trados the bilingual uh, rtf and or the option that we will choose is uh, Omega T and uh, a package a complete package for Omega T will be created so in package location um, the, root, the root is uh, is correct and the package name will be pack one it's okay as options uh, it's important to to notice that you can compress the package into a zip file and you can even pre-segment uh, the text and uh, the other and, and the first the first option is useful if you want to uh, externalize your translation and send it to to another provider and the last tab is also important because you can you can pre-translate the extracted text either with a uh, uh, um, machine translation engine or um, translation memory so the, the the process to uh, to do that uh, is uh, is a bit complicated. So if you want further information, you can find it on the PDF on our website, linked uh, and the same page where you find this tutorial. Okay, let's go back to package format and we just click on execute. So processing documents uh, has flashed here on the on the status bar. Um, no window uh, popped up that means that no mistakes no error were uh, registered so we're logged if you want if you're curious and you want to read the log you can go here in um, view log f9 and as you can see error count zero warning count zero and that's perfect okay the result of the of this step is an Omega T project folder containing uh, some subfolders so let's let's have a look at them uh, pack one and you can see the several subfolders and the Omega T project so we can the, the, the converted source files are located in the source folder you can uh, you can see that they uh, they were converted into xlf xlif files okay so now we launch omega t okay i have it in italian you can just uh, when you install you can select the language that you that you want to um there is a pretty good and complete tutorial here so if you're not uh, familiar with uh, Omega T uh, I recommend you to, to read the, the tutorial before starting it okay we can go to project open control O and we select pack one which is the package that we just created and you can see there are also um, detailed statistics uh, about the project files and those are located into pack one omega t and then in, in a text file called project stats <clears throat> here, here it is and we have actually on these three files uh, with 27 segments 
okay, we can close the project files window and and, and start translating the uh, the project. I will use the uh, the machine translation here offered by Google Translate. You can choose which uh, um, translation machine translation engine uh, you want to use. You can choose it here. There are three options currently: Apertium, Belazar, and Google Translate. Okay, with Control M, you can just replace the the source test text with the machine translation. Uh, okay, let me post edit this just quickly. Okay, then with uh, enter you go to the next uh, um, segment. Okay, 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 we can just leave it this in English and so on and so on. So just give me two minutes, uh, I'll finish this off offline and then I'll get back to you and finish the tutorial. Okay, I finished the, the three files and uh, I click on enter and I go back to, I jump back to, to the first uh, segment of the first file. So now we are ready to uh, to do a quality check or quality assurance with uh, Xbench. So uh, Xbench uh, mm, gives you lots of options uh, and uh, it uh, tries to find segments with uh, potential problems such as untranslated segments, segments that have the, the same source text but a different target text or uh, the other way around, the same target text but different source text, or uh, tag errors, uh, numerical errors, double blanks, etc, etc. So let's launch um, Xbench. <clears throat> okay, let me reduce this. Okay, I create a new project and I will add uh, the type of file that I like to check, in this case it will be a TMX. I'll check the, the TMX project file created by Omega T during the translation. And uh, this file is called, is, is us usually called project uh, underscore save dot TMX and it's located inside the Omega T folder. So, back one Omega T folder and project save TMX. There it is. <clears throat> then I click on next and I will mark as ongoing translation. Click on OK and OK again. So now I'll go to the Q&A tab. I'll check the target same as source as in, in, in the list of checks and I'll check the ongoing, the ongoing translation. No errors found. Um, okay. Okay. I've, I forgot to I forgot to, uh, to to save the project. So, in project, save. Now I go back here to AppSage Xbench. I refresh, and then I check the ongoing translation. Ah, there it is. I knew that. <clears throat> uh, so. Um, there are three segments uh, where the source text is uh, is the same as the target uh, text, and uh, actually this is correct. So I won't I won't bother to to change the the translation. But what if there is a double blank, for instance, here? Okay, I put three just to be sure. I'll save the text, the project, go back to Xbench, refresh and check again and here it is double blank so if you click on it the the expansion puts a little red underscore sign here you can see it I hope so and so I can go back to to the to the segment edit edit it save again refresh, check again, and OK, that's OK. So I can close Xbench, I can go to the project and create the target documents.
I mean, these are the target documents uh, for Omega T. That is uh, the um, the XLIF files. So we should have three target XLIF files in the target subfolder inside pack one folder. So let's have a look. We have a target folder here with three XLIF files. Okay, that's correct. So now we have to convert back uh, those files to the original format. So let's go back to Rainbow again. We will create another uh, project and we will drag and drop the manifest file, this one. And it's very important not to um, edit or delete this file because it contains all the information needed to reconvert the, the original files. So we click on Utilities, Translation Package Post Processing, and a new window pops up. We the, the by default uh, the all files are selected and that's okay with us. We can we we want to convert them all all the all of them. <clears throat> so there is no other thing to to check or mark here, so we can just click on Execute. Processing Documents uh, uh, briefly um, flashes here. No error, I click on F9. Merging, merging, error count zero, warning count zero. Okay, wonderful. So we can go back <clears throat> and another folder was created. It's called Done and inside there is the, the subfolder that I decided to create at the very beginning of the project, the for customer, and inside the for customer we have the, the, the three target files. So I'll check the Excel and that's it. We have uh, the Italian here and we can just replace the English one. Um, Okay, this is slightly different than the, the one that we um, we covered at the beginning because um, the, this was another um, version of it, but I mean the, the concept is the same. So um, I can just open the the original one. Okay, copy. Okay, that's it. We save it close it. We'll have a look at the PO in PO edit. Um, sorry, I have I opened the, the original file. Done for customer. Ah, here it is. Can close this one. Okay, that's correct. Message one, message uno, new post in blog, no post in blog, file non trovato. Okay, can close it. And finally, the word file and we, okay, it's in Italian, it's correct, so we will save it as DOC because at the very beginning the file was a DOC, so that's it. We can close it and we can delete the docx now <clears throat> and here we are, we have the three translated files. So if you want further information, all links are in the in the transcript on in PDF that is available on our website www.cabiria.com. See resources, articles, and you'll find everything. Thank you very much.